So let's continue taking a look at the Panini module. I'm going to open, I'm going to close everything and I'm going to open in pages in the SRC folder. I'm going to open about. And you can see here we have an H1 that's with some content. Maybe you can add some lorem ipsum, something like this. But you can see here we have, well, we have some HTML tags, we have the content, and we have something like this. There is another way that you can write these things. So I'm going to remove everything and I'm going to add a block. And I'm going to add the title, for example, about us page. And I'm going to add some description. Flow from about us. This way I can create something like an H1 and I have to add these curly braces, two of them, and then we can copy this, copy and paste. You can see it says about us page. And also I can add something like an H2, curly braces, and the description. And you can see it says hello from about us. So we're printing what we have here in these variables. I really, really think this is more a more cleaner way of working, but it's up to you which way you decide to work. Also, for example, we, you can see here we, have, here we are in the about us. You can use some functions like a programming language. For example, you can add a paragraph that says you are here and we can add page. This is going to be print the name of the page. So you can see you are here about. So this is like a variable. And this is possible because the Panini framework or the Panini module and the and the, tom the template, sort template, is using the handlebars fr framework or templated engine. So you can create a template. For example, you can create an a UL tag and you can add repeat. So this is going to repeat five times, for example. And we're going to finish the repeat. You can see here we are adding the repeat and then we're adding a closing tag. We don't have anything of this here, but this is a built-in function in handlebars. So you can add something like learning, advanced foundation for sites. And you can save and you can see it's printing five times this line. You can change for 10. And this is a behavior that we don't have using normal HTML. You have this using JavaScript, but this is a more cleaner syntax you can see here. So I think this is it for this part. In the next video, we're going to take a look at some more examples of everything you can do with the Panini module.